Hello friends, my name is Seal, and today in this exciting continuation of our 15 days of DaVinci Resolve 15 tutorials, we're going to be taking a look at a few more of the features that I missed in my first video about this that I just found while I've been playing around that I like a lot, and also some that have been mentioned in the comments. So, the first one that we're going to look at is sort of like a set of features, and that is just these great new node handling options. So you can see we can take our output from one and just pin it around like you would never do before. Super duper nice. Also, you can now single click to select nodes, and then... There is the node label, so label, we can double click and change this to primary. Excellent. And then one more thing, this is probably the most exciting thing from the node enhancements. Let's add a quick layer node with Alt L, and you can right click, and we've got live preview of composite modes. What? Look at this. Super duper cool. That's cool. Very moody. I'm into that. All right, so that's the first one. The second one, is something that deserves a video on its own. That is the new key tools here. So we can change our qualifier range with this guy. Let's shift eight so you can see what we're doing. And we have these matte finesse controls. So I've got denoise here and uh, we've got a normal clip, clean black, clean white, blur radius. And then over here, we've got page two. So we have these matte finesse controls, which are very cool. We also actually, believe it or not, have a similar thing with this alpha matte uh, shrink and grow, which is very similar to this. Like I said, this needs to be covered more in depth because you can see how good of a key we're getting with this very hard thing. Hit Shift H. I mean, all right, look how similar this wood is to skin tone. Just ridiculous we were able to get this good of a key with it. It's a little bit funny, but as long as you don't do too much with it, then you're good. Like just, you know, add a little bit of contrast like we do and bring that down and Alt L. You can see we've got our node options like before. Super nice, and just cool this down a bit. Good stuff. And we did all that blind. Good for us. That is what happens when you're working fast. But I, I dig it. I dig it. It's just a little too contrasty on the skin. All right, but we will keep on going. Now we'll continue on to the last thing I want to talk about in this video, and this is just the easy access of these light box like clip uh, controls. So I was actually going to do a whole tutorial on the light box where you can do this, especially ungraded clips, is super handy. So you can see down our clips, we get only the ones we haven't graded yet. Do that, <laughs> you know, great, great deal. All clips, you've also got tracked clips, clips with noise reduction, got groups, all of these great things which are so handy whenever you're doing versions and revisions and stuff. Oh, goodness gracious, it is a great time. And now it's super easy to access because before you'd have to click into the light box and then select it over here. But now it's just right under clips, super duper nice. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Once again, this is 15 straight days of DaVinci Resolve 15 tutorials on the Meester Media YouTube channel. So be sure you're subscribed. Also check out meesternmedia.com slash products where you can type in the code RESOLVE15 at checkout for 15% off your entire order. You can get all sorts of good stuff over there, LUTs, light leaks and stuff. And you can use your LUTs now much easier with, you know, the new LUT viewer, which I will talk about even more in a later video. Oh, look how good that looks. Nice. I'm into that. So finally, the usual things. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave a few notes on the comments below. Tell me all of your favorite Resolve 15 features. Give me Fusion tips and tricks because there are going to be Fusion tutorials coming out, but I just need to learn it better first. So I know, I know that there are guys out there that watch this YouTube channel that are like really good at Fusion. So leave me, leave me pro tips down in the comments. Me and everyone else, pro tips down in the comments. And if you see a great uh, pro tip down in the comments, be sure to thumbs it up because, you know, that's always good. And I think that's about all we need to talk about for this one. So once again, I'm with you with Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.